Hi, this is the video help file for chapter 9. Now in chapter 9 there are a few key formulas that I want to reinforce in the spreadsheet exercise. The first one is the confidence index. So the confidence index uses the spread between the high grade corporate bonds and the intermediate grade corporate bonds. Now in this formula which is we just take the average of the high grade and divide by the average of the intermediate intermediate grade bonds. Simple calculation. You just take one variable and divide by the next. So very simple formula. And this confidence index is what we're going to talk about in the lecture for chapter nine, why this is important. And what's what's the significance of the change of this confidence index if it goes up or down? Okay. So look forward to the video on chapter nine also the textbook chapter nine for more information about that formula. The next one, we're gonna look at the trin. So T-R-I-N. So for this, we look at the number of stocks that have moved up, divided by the number of stocks that have moved down, and then we divide that by the volume, total volume of the stocks that are moving up by the total volume of the stocks that are moving down. So for this problem, the first thing we want to do is I'm going to put a parentheses. I'm going to take the up days up stocks, divide by the days down stocks, parentheses. I'm going to divide that by uh, the second parentheses, the volume on the stocks on the, that are moving up, divided by the volume on the stocks that are moving down. Close parentheses. Okay, so that gives me uh, a trend. Oh, here's a little error here. Should be in there okay a trend value of three so again this is another indicator that we could use to give us an idea of the overall optimism or pessimism of the market and here we're marrying up the stocks that have that have moved up and the volume on the stocks that have moved up or down and this for more again for more information about what this formula can be used for and and um, how it's useful, you have to refer again to the lecture or the ch chapter textbook. I am here just going over the formulas to help you with the spreadsheet. Okay, so for this particular formula, we're calculating the MFCR, which is a mutual fund cash position. So in this uh, formula, we want to see the percentage of cash in the mutual fund manager's portfolio. And this is another simple calculation where we just take the cash and we divide it by the total portfolio and we get a percentage. And again, the idea of this is how much cash the manager has on hand, we want to know as a percentage. And this is cash that they can reinvest. And this has a significance as to whether you should be buying or selling stocks based on how much cash mutual fund managers are holding. And the final variable that we want to look at is the RSI, the Relative Strength Index. So the Relative Strength Index, what we have here is a formula where we take 100 minus 100 divided by 1 plus the average change on the, on the up days divided by the average change on the down days. So here I've already calculated for you the average price change for the days that the stock moved up First, the average price change for the days the stock moved lower. So generally, I'm not looking for you to calculate these averages, but to calculate the RSI. And again, for me to calculate this, I would start out with 100 minus, close parentheses, 100 divided by, with another close parentheses, 1 plus, another parentheses, the average See the average price on the up days divided by the average price on the down days. So I'm going to have to make sure I have um, one, two, three parentheses on the left. So I'm going to have to have three parentheses on the right. So that's why when you make any of these formulas, you have to make sure that the parentheses you have on the left of the equation, one, two, three, matches the amount of parentheses on the right of the equation, one, two, three. So they should be equal amounts. Okay. So. If you did the put the formula together correctly with the correct amount of parentheses, you should get 69.46 for the problem one. And then I want you to try again, do problem two, three, four, or finish, complete the rest of this 
page for chapter nine. Now chapter nine spreadsheet work isn't exceptionally difficult. It's really just utilizing a couple of key formulas. What's important though is that I see that you're calculating the formulas in your Excel before you submit it and that also you take a chance to reflect upon what, what do these indicators mean and why are they important to calculate. And again, for that information, you should refer to um, the chapter nine textbook or my chapter nine lectures where I talk about these indicators. Okay, thank you for your time and I hope you found this helpful.